Howdy 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 my beautiful Gemini, how are you doing today darling? My name is Simply Velka and let's get into your weekly tarot reading Gemini for August. Your first row today Gemini, we're going to be talking about the person that is on your mind today. Could be family, could be platonic, could be romantic. All I know uh, Gemini, it's not my business to know your business about who this is about. Alright darling, your second row today Gemini, we're going to be talking about what you need to hear today. This could be some spiritual guidance for some of y'all or this could just be serving to affirm something that you have been feeling intuitive. All right, Gemini. And then in your last row today, we're going to get into some predictions today for you. All right. So the future is never solid, Gemini, but if you continue down the path that you have been going, I can make some solid predictions for you. So let me know in the comments below, uh, Gemini, how this tarot reading helps you out. That's how we keep up with y'all. And let's begin this tarot reading here. All right. But, uh, your overall energy here is the Hermit card coming in here. All right, Gemini, be paying attention to your thoughts at this time because you're, I get like the, me the main message I'm being shown in like all caps in my head, Gemini, is like divine inspiration here. Divine inspiration. And it even makes sense with your third row here with the predictions that I see for you here, which we'll get into later, of course. But this divine inspiration i feel as if for you you're about to be receiving some type of uh, gift even all right maybe that for a small percentage of you gemini's it might be someone in your actual life giving you a gift here but i feel like for the majority of you it's like spirit is going to be uh presenting to you or manifesting to you something that you have been asking for and it's going to be trying to show you a way all right providing a light for you to guide you at this time i don't know why gemini maybe for some of you guys you're just becoming a lot more spiritually active at this time but I keep on getting like the strong spiritual inspiration that's happening. All right. So if you've been having, if you've been neglecting like connecting to your spirit guides or ancestors at this time, really take the time to connect with them because there's just a lot to gain from it. A lot of wisdom to gain, of course, a lot of knowledge, but something to gain that will benefit your physical life. All right. Socially, uh, career wise, project wise, what have you. All right. So let's get into your first row here today, Gemini, talking about the person that's on your mind. You have the Five of Wands here, darling, Ugh. with the Queen of Swords, as well as the King of Pentacles coming in here. Gemini, I am I say, ugh, because, you know, the Five of Wands, in my opinion, is the uh, least pleasant card in the tarot deck here. And for those that are going to be wondering what, what happened to the corner, darling, this tarot deck has been, has done well over a thousand videos with me, honey. So it's just like natural wear and tear. Done over a thousand videos and traveled across the country with me. So <laughs> it just has some character but in this sense here with the person that's on your mind right now i feel like gemini here you're being pushed to the sense of like having to distance yourself or having to lay down a firm boundary here gemini all right with that queen of swords energy right it's that air energy and you are an air sign gemini right so it's that sense of where it's like you're having to put some strong boundaries towards the king of pentacles here this could be someone like giving like a rude wake-up call to somebody where it's like they convince themselves that you need them in a type of way here gemini Right. And so maybe this is someone that you live with, family related here, maybe someone that you've been dating here, Gemini. But it's like this sense here of where, I don't know, it's like this this person's getting a little bit too comfortable. This person's like, even I hear like this word like cocky here. So maybe you've been uh, communicating with this person and you're noticing that they're not putting any effort in and like you're having to put in all the work when it comes to this here. And also as a side note, take note, uh, Gemini, this summer energy is going to be influencing all three of these rows here. Whatever the case is, Gemini, it's like that sense of where you might be finding yourself asking the question and being like, am I the problem? Am I the drama here? But it's not the reality here. It's like, I feel like this person really just I don't know I get like it's like this person really convinces themselves that there's some type of puppet master in this way here and that's where the conflict is it's just that sense of where it's like I feel like this person just makes things harder for no reason and I feel like you're noticing that I feel like you're waking up to where this person really just thinks that they are just that they they're God's gift really that's what I think with this I associate with that king of pentacles like this person really has convinced themselves that they're God's gift and they're trying to play hard to get or just it's like that sense Gemini where it's like I get that like they want to be chased or like they they like the sense of being wanted here and I don't know I just am worried about you being taken advantage of I suppose so I guess I don't need to because that queen of swords energy shows to me that you're kind of just at this place of being like uh-uh 
all right high priestess energy yeah i am not concerned about this anymore whatsoever here all right high priestess energy coming in for you that's the you know anytime i see the high priestess in a reading i'm like okay i'm not telling this person anything that they don't already know listen to your intuition when it comes to this person here while you may not have like any type of physical evidence or reference to like how this person is coming off or like what this person is doing here gemini trust your gut instinct here and i feel like for many of you guys you'll notice as you start pulling back pay attention to how they respond here all right some of them you know gemini they may respond with just not responding whatsoever and then they'll show to you that they just really didn't care right they that they didn't want to put in the effort but i feel like you'll even notice gemini if you're not the one constantly sending them the messages constantly trying to get them to communicate you'll notice they'll probably hit you up and be like oh hey like what's going on here it's like magically all of a sudden they're able to have their phone on them and start talking to you and beforehand it's like it was like you always had to wait like 12 hours for them to respond here all right you have the page of cups coming in here as well i'm gonna be honest here gemini all right this is like a message where it's like there are plenty of fish in the sea here i feel like as you start distancing yourself from this king of pentacles energy here and someone else will be able to come into your life or that you'll be able to get closer with somebody else here all right is what i feel with this it's like so don't be afraid of like putting up some boundaries when it comes to this person here because it's just like you absolutely will be able to replace them with someone much better all right just to be very blunt in that way here because five of pentacles energy here yeah i feel like they you you know what will happen here gemini as you start putting distance with, with yourself from this person and no longer continue trying to like have something work out when it comes to this person here not only are you going to give them like give them an ego check here but i feel like they're going to take it pretty hard here all right so i wouldn't even be surprised if they start trying to play like some type of manipulative manipulative game with you if they are that type of person there like i just don't feel like they respond well to this here and in my opinion here it's like that sense of where it's like they're not upset with you distancing themselves so, like they are upset about that right they would be but it's not the sense of being like oh like i don't want to lose gemini it's more so the sense of they're upset about how their ego was struck with this does that make sense gemini it's like they're not upset about like what happens with it they're just upset about like what this represents when you're moving on from them right so it's like that sense where it's like i wouldn't be surprised if you start posting uh you know stories on your social media gemini where this person will start checking up and be like oh who's that person in the back or what have you right i don't care who this is about uh gemini whether it's platonic romantic family or what have you here it's like this person doesn't like the idea that you would have other options and that like they realize like how replaceable they actually are that's what i really think with this here so uh yeah let's continue on now gemini for what you need to hear today you have the death page of swords as well as the four of pentacles coming in for you all right so what you need to hear today uh gemini is that for one in a social way there's someone that is just not ready to show commitment to gemini all right this is someone like whether this is like a friend that you're trying to have to be like something deeper like a best friend or someone that you know just like your ride or die i don't feel like they're able to provide that at this time so don't give more to yourself don't give more to this energy here in a social way than what it is that you're getting right i feel like for some of you gemini's you're practicing unconditional love with certain people and hope hoping or expecting that they would return that and unfortunately that's just not the reality it would be nice gemini trust and believe i've learned my lesson many of times from that as well as well so don't be afraid of just pulling out as well for some of you gemini's i get this sense where you have like i'm being shown someone like sitting at a cubicle and just like throwing their hands on the desk and me like f this job here and i'm not telling you to quit your job especially in this economy uh gemini like hello it would be extremely irresponsible and plus tarot should never be telling you what you should do with your life but i do get this sense gemini where it's just like some of you guys are realizing how bad of or how poor of an investment certain people or certain situations are in your life here and don't be afraid of walking away from it straight up this is like an affirmation where it's just like yeah you you are intuitively feeling that something just isn't good for you or something that just isn't it just isn't giving what it needs to be giving essentially right so that's what i see with that so let's start clarifying this though gemini 
All right. <clears throat> King of Swords coming in here as well. I do see further independence coming in for you and more response, like more, yeah, more responsibility for you. All right. With that King of Swords energy here. You, but I really want to be stressing here, Gemini. All right. It's like you're really doubting your noggin at this time, doubting your capabilities of like having the intelligence to go out on your own. Or I don't know. I get like this sense of like for some reasons, like you're really in your head quite a bit, Gemini. Maybe some of you guys are just doubting your intuition. And I just want to really affirm to you, Gemini, that you are like really spot on at this time. Like, you know, when I'm doing tarot readings, like sometimes uh, you'll have to just give some guidance to people and get them back on track here. But for you, I don't feel like there's anything to get back on track. I feel like if anything, only thing I'm this reading is going to be providing for you is just like giving you peace of mind and knowing that you're not the crazy one and peace of mind and knowing that um, you're not being too much. You have the Queen of Wands as well as this Justice energy stepping forward to you, this Libra energy. And it's interesting that you have this Libra card stepping in here, Gemini, because I was noticing a little bit of a similarity when it comes to the social life for both you and Libra. Anyway, like both of y'all learning how to set boundaries and all that. So uh, if you do have Libra in your chart, check out Libras. But um, Justice and Queen of Wands here, what is out of balance in your life here, Gemini, is this sense of like, you need to have more independence here. I get traveling uh, is in order for some of you guys here. Self-employment is in uh, is what's destined for some of you guys. All right, so Gemini, if you've been feeling like uh, unfulfilled, if you've been feeling just, I don't know, it'll be something internally like we you just are craving something more craving something deeper it's that sense of where it's like you need to start honoring more of this queen of wands journey for yourself all right and the queen of wands paired with this king of swords energy is extremely powerful because the queen of wands takes risks but she, with the queen of, uh, with the king of swords accompanying her in this way it's like she's taking risks but they're very calculated risks she leads with her heart but she still is very aware about what's going on here all right i see for your path here gemini this sense of where some of you guys take a big risk with something for your own personal life but it pays off in tenfold here some of you gemini's are sitting on like a really solid idea that would give you so much freedom right maybe if you've been having this desire for like a road trip or traveling like whatever the case is uh gemini i feel like it would be really uh for your betterment if you were to honor that there is like this sense gemini where she's like yeah you have this strong passion for something but just because you have a strong passion for you know the arts or whatever the case is doesn't mean that there's any lack of logic or intelligence associated with it as well so i feel like some of you guys need to be hearing that uh gemini all right let's do some moon oracle cards for you as well we'll do a couple here i feel inspired to use this deck because a lovely old friend actually gifted this deck to me so i don't want to say her name because she doesn't want to be said but um she'll know who i'm talking about she she knows who she is honey all right you have the new moon in sagittarius as well as the first quarter moon in pisces honoring your feelings and focusing on the positive that's what this is here gemini it's like honoring your feelings about what it is that you're feeling and focusing in on like celebrating not celebrating that's not the word i want to be using but it's like stop gaslighting yourself that's really in essence what i want to say with this is just like honor your feelings because it's like it's not like it's like you're associating like your feelings or your thoughts on stuff in your life and like you all of a sudden just like not all of a sudden but like you play it down immediately after you have a thought and then you play it down and be like oh gemini like you know and i feel like gemini's are the most guilty of it because people so often gemini i'm sorry i have like a cat here after i lotioned uh people you know the gemini's get the uh awful treatment from all the zodiac signs where it's just like it's like the cool thing to just like be like oh i don't like a gemini i can't trust a gemini it's it's such a tired thing to be honest and so i feel like sometimes gemini's are just so used to being villainized that it's almost natural for them to just villainize themselves as well and i just want to tell you to stop it all right stop it <laughs> just like that just stop it stop having problems <laughs> all right gemini let's get into your predictions for today here all right you have the knight as of cups queen of pentacles here as well as the seven of swords coming in for you hmm all right gemini so i see for you here 
where I'm going to be honest, I feel like there's someone that's either already coming into your life or there's an opportunity for someone that could help you out more in your life to take care of some of your burdens here. I also get like this slight message, Gemini, where it's just like, this is going to be very specific and kind of scandalous, darling. But I get this sense of where it's like you're dating somebody who you're talking to somebody, right? Maybe you have like a friend that you try to give all your time to and it's like, you only been giving their that time to them because it's like or whatever your business is right but i feel like there's going to be new energy that comes into play in your life that makes you decide to just be like you know what i'm gonna ghost you and start leaning into this other energy more right i feel like for certain people gemini you try to make certain relationships work out because you just value them so much but at the same time, they're not you reciprocating that for you. And again, it's like that sense. And I'm not condoning like cheating or anything like that. I don't like cheaters personally. Right. But I get the sense of where it's just like you're in an unfulfilling relationship. Um, and then it's just like you sat there and it's just like someone else comes along. And she's like, holy crap, you, I could be feeling this all along here. And I feel like for many of you guys, you're just like, you know what? This just isn't good for me anymore. And you, le you like you move on to the next, something bigger and better. And I know from other people, they'll just read this and be like, oh, like this is toxic. Velka, you shouldn't be promoting that or what have you. But the reality is they're not living your life. I'm not even living your life. I don't know your situation, Gemini, right? But I really get this feeling of where it's just like someone comes along in your life that really just inspires you to sink more energy into that rather than continue putting bad investments into these things that are just not valuing you appreciating you and all that manner uh gemini i truly do believe that so for some of you guys it could just be literally a job like a new job opportunity coming forward to you that pays a lot better but so don't feel guilty about moving on from your current job just because you have this sense of like obligation and loyalty, right? We've all, we've learned plenty of times throughout the years to just like where our jobs treat us as if we are disposable and you need to treat them, just keep that same energy with them as well. Treat them as disposable because they are disposable here. You have the temperance card that fell out here. This is a card to have patience at this time here. Some of you guys are feeling a little bit restless, Gemini, wanting to like, I get this sense of where it's just like you're feeling restless and then it's like you're wanting a change. And then some of you guys just like go to the store one day and just buy like a box of dye or a box of bleach and just like change up your hair, right? Because you're just wanting to have like a certain sense of change here. Wheel of Fortune coming in here. I would say the Wheel of Fortune could be turning in your favor or turning against you, right? It's going to be turning with you here in the coming days, especially with that Eight of Pentacles. You think Things are going to be improving in your life here, Gemini, if I can even hold these cards properly. Things are going to be improving in your life, Gemini, in the coming days. And so don't be making any irrational decisions right now. All right. Have patience because the path is going to be presented to you in a very easy way is what I get with this. It's like, you know, if you've been having this sense of where it's just like working that job, Gemini, you're just like, wait, this isn't fulfilling for me at all. Don't put in your two weeks immediately. Just by having that sense of awareness in your head here, uh, Gemini, that's going to get the Wheel of Fortune to start turning to in the other direction in your favor to open up a new opportunity for you to continue elevating yourself in the career. And, and when it comes to people, just have patience at this time for how that manifests in your life. All right, Gemini? So that's the weekly tarot reading that I have for you today. Hopefully something resonated. Give this video a like and subscribe. If it did, it's free to do and it really helps me out a lot. And check out your sun, moon, rising as well as your Venus sign, Gemini. I love you so much, darling. Bye.